Hello friends, mga ka-idol. This is Chris from Tinkoy Art. And uh, in this video, we will be creating, gagawin natin, yung portrait ni Luisa. She's a fellow artist. And I particularly was attracted to this photo because of the the, uh, the shadows of the way the light capture the light to this photo and of course the, the lines and the movement in the photo so I, I really want to capture that and enhance that hopefully in a controlled manner so uh, I already did the brown preliminary it's lightly applied so we can erase it easily and I'm using the Oslo paper, Vision Oslo paper, okay, and uh, this is a partial review of that paper, and we'll see if it works, if it's good or not for artwork, so we can have an additional resource, instead of using uh, vellum, we can use, probably we can use this uh, as a texture paper for our artworks. So, an alternative or a, a different paper naman. You know, pa, kasi nakasawa minsan eh, pag puro na lang tayo velum, di ba? So, we'll see and I'll see you at the end of the intro. Okay, so let's begin. Of course, at this stage, we'll be trying to darken uh, lines that uh, are occluded, okay, that are in occluded shadows. We're going to depict that and we're going to keep in mind to uh, vary our lines the thickness and the uh, weight of our lines and by weight I mean uh, the how dark it is and how imposing it is how uh, how it catches our eyes by uh, being darker and uh, bolder so we're going to vary our lines from thick to thin and from dark to light and uh, there are, of course, lines that uh, taper down to a thinner line. And uh, sometimes the darkest uh, areas are the thinnest. Sometimes it's the thickest. So, depending on our reference and depending on the effect that we want to make. So, that's very useful to keep in mind. So, at this stage... We're just going to draw the eyes, the iris right now, and uh, keeping true to the um, to the reference. We're going to take a lot of hints from the reference right now, in order to uh, keep our dimensionality. But uh, for now, the focus is really on the dark, the darkest. A, a value we can uh, place on our paper uh, this serves us two uh, two purposes for one it's going to serve us our anchor of how dark we can go using our paper and uh, our charcoal and uh, next it's going to become our uh, visual anchors of course so where where our darks and lights are gonna come from and of course this is going to serve as a basis for where our occluded uh, shadows are going to be. I'm just gonna play this slower, the second part of the eye. So you can see, uh, maybe it's useful for some of you to see how we actually shade in those uh, darker lines. You can see there, I just uh, planting uh, one value and then uh, darkening it when necessary 
first uh, a plain uh, singular value and then just darkening it now this uh, the lines I'm drawing here are deliberately pointed downwards so that the the uh, the artwork will point downwards to her lips because that's the focus of our uh, the center of our uh, artwork here so I'm deliberately emphasizing angles that point inward and uh, emphasizing that so as you can see I'm sharpening these points here and darkening it as necessary Of course these lines were already in the photo as I mentioned before but I'm just uh, making sure that those uh, lines have that weight in them that points inward and down uh, to emphasize those because sometimes we lose our footing in trying to draw our characters or our subjects we lose that uh, weight that we saw in our photos so it's going to look flat and uh, even if we have a 3d very nice rendered uh, image it's going to look very boring because of the lack of you know uh, movement in your uh, in our uh, drawings so it's best to just you know if whatever appeal that you found on your photo is to emphasize that even if it's just very subtle our minds are very quick to uh, participate in our uh, work especially if we are looking at artwork it's very subtle but it's there you know it's it, it points us to the subject matter that the artist wants us to uh, focus on so in this case I'm just trying I'm not saying that this is a science or that I, I mastered this uh, ability but it's just I'm just uh, anticipating this result so we're going to end it here for now and I'll see you on the next uh, episode of this video series and I uh, hope to see you there